Welcome to another video on my channel. Today I have with me, courtesy of Book My Lens as always, Nikon's brand new 400mm f4.5 VRS Z mount lens. And if there's one trend uh, in Nikon that I'm really enjoying and loving uh, to the absolute fullest, it is their tendency to make lighter and lighter telephoto lenses. It started with uh, the Nikon Z mount 400mm f2.8 VRS lens then went on to the PF 800mm f6.3 and now in the latest line of these lightweight telephoto lenses we have this the 400mm f4.5 VRS lens which is actually not a PF lens despite which it weighs only a staggering 1.2 kilos which is quite remarkable so without further ado let's get into the unboxing then okay there we go right what do we have here this is something new it says thank you for choosing nikon it's quite a sweet little message looks personalized i'm not sure if this is a sticker here i think it is so i'm going to try that later uh, then you have the warranty as usual then here's what looks like a pouch to put the lens into okay similar to the one we got with uh, the 100 to 400 mm Z lens. This is the user's manual, not a list of service centers like I thought initially. And that seems to be about the paperwork that you get. All right, there we go. Seriously, wow. This is incredible. I know it's cliched, I've used this word many times in my recent Nikon unboxing videos, but I've never meant it more. This genuinely doesn't look like a 400mm f4.5 lens or feel for that matter. It's not just the looks. And if you look at the details of the lens, nothing much is new so far as the Z uh, mount lenses of the S series are concerned. I mean, you pretty much have this knurled area at the front and uh, a reasonably small front element size then you have a set of function buttons right here in the front uh, then you have this function ring which we've of course seen in all the z telephoto lenses in the past and then we have a very nicely damped fairly wide i would say wide enough focus ring then you have of course the tripod collar which is again smooth and damp uh, staying true to z lens tradition you have the uh, LFN button here, which of course you will use uh, in addition to these buttons in the front. Then of course you have the memory set button using which you can snap focus to a particularly preset uh, point. And you have the autofocus manual focus switch. And finally the focus limiter where you have full and infinity to six meters. So I'm going to mount it on the Z9 and uh, then we shall see how exactly it performs. I'm going to take a few pictures and then get back. Okay, I've just had my brief flirtation with the lens on the terrace. And what are my first impressions? They couldn't be more positive. I couldn't be more impressed, honestly. This is a lens which is designed to get out of your way in every way possible. Is it sharp from what I can see? Yes, absolutely. The sharpness seems uncompromised. It's sharp wide open at f4.5, which is where I shot most of the pictures deliberately. Uh, and of course, when you stop down uh, to f8, you see very minimal improvement because it's already very sharp at 4.5. The VR is pretty effective, as you can perhaps see from this handheld shot of this pigeon, uh, which hasn't been image stabilized in post. The autofocus is absolutely noiseless, doesn't make a single sound, just like the other Elite Z telephoto lenses. But its greatest feature has to be its size and weight. Even with a heavy body like the Z9, I had absolutely no difficulty hand holding it for extended periods of time. So this is a lens which you can hand hold all day, every day, day after day, no problem at all, easy peasy. Okay, just to give you a perspective of how small and light it really is in comparison to a few other lenses, uh, here is the 800mm, uh, which isn't exactly comparable to it, so let's place it here. But what I'm really very interested in is this, 
the 400 mm f2.8 uh, Z lens with the inbuilt teleconverter. Just look at the difference. Let me put this 800 mm away for a second. Just look at the difference. I mean, we are talking about a lens, the 400 2.8, which is actually relatively small and light for what it is. And despite that, they're not even in the same ballpark. It's a completely different class altogether. So if you don't need the f2.8 maximum aperture and the inbuilt teleconverter, uh, then I would strongly suggest you consider the 4.5 uh, and save two thirds of your money because it's just one third the cost of the 402.8 and of course less than half the weight. Uh, it's just 1.2 kilograms. So that's how dramatic the difference is. Now let's look at some F mount lenses, shall we? So this is the 300 mm F2.8 F mount lens. I mean, it has the teleconverter on here so I'll just remove that so it's not misleading so this is how big it is and just look this is much smaller and of course much much lighter this is about two and a half or 2.8 kilos it's just 1.2 so definitely dramatic difference there and this by the way is my 80 to 200 mm AFS and you can see the 400 mm is just marginally longer and lighter believe it or not because this is about 1.5 kilos 1470 grams to be precise and this is just 1.2 so that is how dramatic the difference in weight is and that is how much weight saving you have uh, with this lens right so what do i not like about this lens i think my only criticism of this lens would be that i wish nikon had made it an f4 lens I know it's just one third of a stop, but I think it makes a significant psychological difference. But I can understand Nikon not doing it. Perhaps they didn't want to cannibalize the sales of the 400mm f2.8 by having a lens which is just one stop away from it. Or uh, maybe in making the maximum aperture f4 would have made the lens significantly larger and heavier and therefore nullified the advantage of the weight. I don't know. I'm not an engineer, uh, or not an optical engineer at least. Um, but I wish it were f4 because when you think of it, the 100 to 400 mm, which is 5.6 at 400 mm, is just two thirds of a stop away and gives you the added advantage of uh, the entire zoom range from 100 to 400 mm. Uh, it's built reasonably well, but the one advantage that this lens has over that is, of course, the fact that there are no externally moving elements, there is no zoom barrel going in and out, sucking air and moisture into it all said and done i think it's a fantastic lens the fact that there is only one negative that i could pick uh, after having it with me for a couple of days and testing it and living with it shows how outstanding a product it really is and i think it's priced reasonably for what it is it is affordable unlike the 400 mm f 2.8 which is way beyond uh, most people's budget I think this makes for a very compelling package. And please let me remind you that this lens is available on rent at Book My Lens right now. So please click on the link in the description below to go straight to their website, book it right away and take it on your wildlife and birding trips and see for yourself how good it is. Okay then, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye-bye.